And then our nationwide tour continues. Yeah. <laughs> in April, Ziaka, <laughs> like Catch us in Bloom at the Civic Theatre on the 13th of April. Bloom. Yo. Then we hit Limpopo on the 27th of April. Oh. As it stands, Cape Town is leading with the ticket sales, bro. Huh. Shout out to Cape Town! Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. What, what are we doing on the road from now on? Hey! Anna! Yeah, Lisa! <laughs> Man, let's get the tour on the road. I can't fucking wait. <laughs>kids at my complex they started bullying my kid now oh so i'm like good shot it's time for me to step up yeah be finally dad. be a father finally. Yeah. i was about to say lucky you bro oh that happened lucky <laughs> you man hey but it was weird because i never had a father growing up yeah because i never had a father growing up right so i yeah. didn't know what to do you but know? you had father figures surely yeah, but we never spoke about bullying it was one of those you solve it by yourself you know? when you got bullied you how did you sort that out because mm, I was a nerd in, uh, in, in in high school and it didn't help that I was, a, I was a crazy because that was like frowned upon. Like they used to tease me for being on TV. Damn. It just kind of like, they just kind of stopped. Eventually, yeah, yeah. And you also, you're small, so like you attract bullies. Exactly. Generally. Yeah. So and sit, you're a nerd, so worst exactly. combi- combination. So I sit him down. I'm like, my boy, listen, this is how we're going to do this thing. Yeah. When are you are small, so you can't fuck them up. You can't beat them up. But you are my son. You've got the brains. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so use your mind. Yeah. So I told him what he must do now is like whenever they tease him, he must just laugh along, right? Because essentially what they're trying to do is like uh, uh, um, they get satisfaction like when he cries. And yes, 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 yes. So yes. they get satisfaction. They, yeah, that's what they, that's the reaction they desire. Yes. To see pain. To see pain. To see pain. So and don't give them that, my boy. Yes, or suffering. Yeah. Yes. We know what you must do. <laughs> just laugh. So whatever they say, you must just laugh. <laughs> I don't think it's a major nutcase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. So he's the only one in the crew who doesn't have a bike. He's got like, you know those scooters, the 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 one where you roll like with your legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The scooter. And all and the kids. The, scooter. Uh, long, the one leg. Wheels, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm like, yeah, when they tease you about not having a bike, whatever, just say, I know I'm saving one. I'm saving up for one. If I do well in school, I'll get one. Mm. And just laugh it off. He's like, okay, cool. I'm like, whatever they say, you must just laugh, okay? Mm. He's like, all right, cool. 30 minutes later. So now we're practicing. So I'm pretending I'm the bullies. <laughs> oh, wow. Man. Then I go to him. I'm like, Ziggy. Your nose is big. It's like, yeah, I know it's big. Very big. <laughs> <laughs> then I ended up laughing at him. It was so funny. <laughs> oh, man. But do you think I handled it well? I think that's the right approach. Yeah. 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 What, I think what, that's the right what, approach. What should I have said? 
What's the bullying though? It depends. Well, how are they bullying your kid? Like it depends on the extent of the bullying. Mm. Like is it just remarks? Yeah, remarks. Just, he's an easy target. You know, like you're saying he's small. Yeah, playground just, teasing. Yeah. Now you handled it well. I don't think you must get involved in playground teasing because mm. that's what builds kids. That's what built us. You know what I mean? I was laughing now with Tabang because of we're very dark. And I don't know about you. are Much younger than me, but growing up and darker. Uh, yeah, I get much darker. Yeah, yeah. Growing up though, we used to get teased as umnyaman, you know what I mean? Like, and that's this just is black on you. black violence. <laughs> 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 on Human Rights Day. <laughs> on Human Rights Day. Hey, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that shit builds you, you know what I mean? Like, you, I, I, okay, I was never fat as a kid, you know, that shit just happened like later in life. But having these weird characteristics where people feel like they can tease you, it builds you, builds a thick skin, and also you learn to rebuttal as well. But if my mom would have jumped in every time I get teased, I remember the first time my mom gave me permission to fuck up someone. Yeah. You know, because I've I always been a big kid, though. And I remember crying. In fact, I think she was having sex with a boyfriend, right? Oh. No, for real. No, no, no. Hey, I'll man. tell you why. Uh, no, you know this thing? Wait. 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 No, man. No, but no, no, no. Wait. Wait. Hear me out. Hear me out. No, man. Come on. I want to put it like that. I want to put it like that. Swing, I'm a helicopter. I'm a helicopter. I'm on a plane. Come on, guys. Our parents had sex. You know what I mean? Just like how your kids knock on your door, you having sex, so they come knocking on your door, you having mm. sex. So it was a Sunday or a weekend. Wait, has that ever happened? What? Can you, you said, mm. My kid's coming in. Hey. Not, no, we make sure that we, can, we can make sure that they get in, they like entertain them, keep them busy. Like we put on Coco Melon for the little one. Oh. <laughs> we have we'll have a good thirty minutes. Wow, yeah. he's planting another good. melon. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you stop, can you stop? No, but look, but it has happened where they want. Yeah, you just attention. got to be uh, excited with Coco Melon. <laughs> yeah. Melon. Oh, I just got <laughs> get a Coco Melon. Yeah. <laughs> The wheels go around the bus. Right, right. Yeah, play that as your intro when you DJ, bro. Now I'm Coco Melon, boy. You know how DJs are intro. People will sing along. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but remember when Ishmael remixed Takalani? Tak, ta, oh, ta, ka, we all got excited, bro. Yeah, yeah. That, then they fucked up the rollout of the, so, the song. But we, no, they took too long to drop it, but we all got excited when we heard yeah. the snippet, remember? Yeah. Yeah. Then nothing came of it. Ish. But, so I'm running home, you know? So it was like, in... I remember, like, when my 96, 7, you know? Um, and, like, my area, you know, before, oh, okay. like, people, other people built oh, and okay, stuff. Yeah. And then the government came and filled in. Like, it's a kind of vibe. Yeah, you okay. know, it's a kind of vibe. But it's a Like, one of the first few houses built in that area, 91. So, 96, you know? Okay. Run home, run home. Yeah, well, I see the car. Oh, boyfriend is whatever. But you're a kid. You're not thinking these things. You know? <laughs> but only now I'm like, that would probably shag it. <laughs> mama, mama, what's my man? Young sugar, young shy. You know, and she was frustrated though, because it was the first time I saw her snap at me. Mm. And I, I'm thinking, why is she snapping at me? Oh, you know what I mean? She's and she's like, no, I'm shy. I was like, oh, for real? Because I was always scared that if I fuck someone up, they will come home yeah, and yeah. I in trouble. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, for real? Oh, shit. Oh, you know? Then from that day, I fucked some people up who fuck with me up. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, so I think not being involved and just letting the kid def defend it, but helping him strategize, mm. as a, that's where the dad thing comes mm. in. That's where the dad, because... My mom, with the fighting one, I was like, yeah, sure, let's fight. Mm. With the teasing one, it never got to her because, mm. like, at home, I just managed to, you know, build that thick skin myself mm. uh, with words and stuff. But, like, that's the perfect way to handle it, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, it gives them a... It's not just a, oh, they're saying this, I fucked them up. You mm. know what I mean? Because they're not hitting him. Mm. They're just saying stuff. Mm -hmm. So he's you'll he deal with it. He's You've helped him to deal with it in a more superior way. Mm. You know what I mean? I so was I, teaching my son to have, like, to also have comebacks. 
Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like, also, just learn to just don't take it. Because I think he was telling me recently that um, I think kids were talking about his teeth. So he's got a bit of a dental issue. Like, I, his teeth are just growing at the wrong places. Mm-hmm. So obviously, you know, it's a joke yeah, for a lot of kids, kids you know. That, so yeah. I'm like, no, just have comebacks, you know. Look at their teeth and I'm sure you'll find... Some problem. We look at their face and you know, just be quick with comebacks. So yeah, we'll find, find something. You know, find something. Give us an example oh, oh, of a comeback. Just tell, <laughs> <laughs> just tell them to prepare the comebacks, rather. <laughs> you want to give us an example of a comeback? I got loom. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> like, see what my teeth can do. <laughs> yeah. No, not like that. But yeah, anyway, yeah. yeah, just yeah, just be rude back. Yeah, right? rude, yeah. yeah. Some things, these things. I'm like, oh, don't, because it was like it even started out like, oh, your teeth are crooked. Yes, they are crooked. Like, like your mama. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, actually, 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 yes. Actually, just say everything I say. Just say like your mom. <laughs> like your mother. <laughs> like your mom. <laughs> like your mom. <laughs> What, what, like your mom. <laughs> like your mom. <laughs> oh, man. Who else got bullied here in, in the room? Mm. Tato, mm. Ah, you're, you're a PK. You got bullied, I'm sure. Never. Dude, no, you not got bullied. Tato's got campings. Yeah, I yeah, think he's for the days. bully. Yeah, for no, days, for Tato days. Tato is the bully. Busi, you never got... Oh, what do they say? Or how do they, they say, bully yeah, you? I'm curious. Because curious, curious, there's nothing to bully. What do they say last week? From, from my eyes can see. No, 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 they're school. Not bullying you. At school. <laughs> At recess. <laughs> <laughs> no, in primary, I once stopped a fight with praying, with the Bible. And from oh, there, boy. I just started getting bullied for being a mom from DC and a nun. All church-related things. Mm. But yeah, I got bullied. Wait, how did you stop a fight by praying? I'm, I I don't like violence. Mm. And I was a leader. So when, you know how kids gather yes. when there's a fight. Mm. So I don't know, something inside of me just said enter. Mm. And when I got in, because my grandmother's a pastor and my dad was a youth pastor back then, I was like, okay, prayer. Mm. <laughs> so you, you pulled the them prayer? both. You pulled them both. <laughs> wow! <laughs> so Not let's... pulling them, yeah. but I raised the hand and was like, "Randa basente." <laughs> <laughs> oh, she goes to you like fifteen. Wow. <laughs> what a mature but, thing to do, though. Like, but that know. whole speaking in tongues shit was never big during our time, was it? I never heard it even once, and I went to church my entire childhood. But now What's it's church? big. Which church? Okay, we see it though. So it's not like the. Okay, I wish. Yeah, yeah, it's not. Yeah. But even in the born again churches, like when I used to visit my. You know, like. No, Varashi, Suntin, Labanga, and Bako. Oh, yeah, was. Yeah, was. I was just forced to. No, much. At least say, the. Guamacatini. You never heard those things. Yeah, this speaking in tongues thing, it seems to be. And it's always been in the Bible, but it seems to be very popular no. and popping in the last like 15 years or so. Yeah. No way. I remember way back, there were the least. You know, the, 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 the leaders who were able to pray in tongues. When what? you were like a kid, like, you know, five, like ten. A, Yeah. For real. Way back. KZN, yes. What do these tongues sound like, guys? <laughs> like, Schoolers. please demonstrate. She, I'm like, check, papaku, papaku. Papaku. Yeah. Just make shit up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, make shit yeah. up. Just make shit up. Yeah, that's it. No, you, like, I don't think you made You're on the right up. track. No. I was, I was getting no. more. I'm feeling the father. <laughs> I'm feeling it. I was, I felt a force underneath my seats. Go on, go on. Let's call someone and just start speaking. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's call someone. Who can we call? Who? Neo. Neo. Oh, Neo's not here. No, Neo will know that uh, we we'll put yeah. what oh, Does he know? Okay. You, yeah, he knows. He knows. He knows. Oh, fuck, who can we call? <laughs> from the network, someone from the network? Zile? Osima? Opala? Bala. No, Bala, you'll think it's important. <laughs> 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 Zile. Who's younger? Yanda. Yanda, Yanda Woods. Yanda, Yanda Woods. Will she get it? She's a bit serious though. Yeah. Zile. Serious? Zile. Zile. Zile is sick. Is it? Oh shit, man. What's wrong with Zile? Cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Some Tanda Zile. Yeah. yeah. We can say there was a pastor here who's about to heal you. <laughs> no, we just go as soon as the answer goes. Go. And then you must join in. Eh? <laughs> mm. <laughs> please, please, please help this. <laughs> Let's go, let's go. Oh, what's wrong with him? What is he sick? No, he's oh, he's tooth removed. Oh, yes, I saw. I saw. I saw on his WhatsApp. What tooth got removed? I don't remember having a like, wisdom tooth removed. Pray, child of God. 
Oh, no. popcorn. Do you feel it? Do you feel it? Do you feel the spirit? Yes, Receive the healing. <laughs> He's like, yo, bro, people from my whole province, my daddy. He's thinking, yeah, people from my whole province. He's thinking, oh shit, they got my number in the village. He's like, oh fuck, they got my number in the village. <laughs> <laughs> They're about to release the lightning. <laughs> but that's true, though. That's the only thing you can do. This is the only time I'm going to do a time, sir. We'll check what's outside. I'll shine you now. We'll check what's outside. Oh, man. Anyway, oh, and now, uh, what a man, eh, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Soliano is here. Yeah. Uh, 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 Tibla is here, Ghost yeah. Lady is here, Dudu is here, yeah. T- uh, Tato is here, yeah. Shots by Tabang is here, Fat Checker is here, Sim Piwe, TJ PJ is here. <laughs> so we get a call from ACBC. How? Not ACBC. Ah, listen to the story. Oh, hey. you gotta get the call. <laughs> Well, Sol, did you get the call too? So myself and Sol, we get a call from ACBC. They're like, the numbers are bad, guys. We need you. Oh. It's terrible. <laughs> so we like say less. Oh. We're gonna make TV great again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Making a red cap. So, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, man, uh, they called us. We're gonna be uh, doing a new gaming show on ACBC too. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah we're back on yeah. TV. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. SABC. SABC yeah. two. So they do all restructuring. So SABC one is going to be like a, a youth channel. SAPC 2 is going to be like a family channel. And you're right? a family? Of course. What do you mean? What do you family, mean? Man, you just told his son yeah. how to avert bullying. Yeah. And, 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 Fall and, of the air. Oh. Uh, he just told his son how to deal with bullying. Is he not a family man? <laughs> Do I not have a child that I picked up from school today? Oh, okay, okay. And okay. that's actually one, the, what, that lady, what's her name? Which one? Uh, on stage. Oh, yesterday, because yeah, yesterday they did the whole unveiling thing. Yeah, and I was going to ask, but you guys are like, you know, I'm like, but guys, we're fathers and we also oh. have families and stuff, you know what I mean? Like when we're here, it's like, we're with our, chilling with our boys in a club, in a strip club, at a bar. At a bribe, we can say whatever, you know, because mm-hmm. we're, we're like that. But also, that's not the rich. Hey, Zina is calling back, she answer. Yeah, yeah. Say, but I tell her, put up, send down, send Hey, he's gonna watch the show and fucking be on the floor, bro. Anyway, yeah, you're saying, my dog. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah, it's, it's a family show. So then, the, then I think uh, I'm not sure what's happening with SCPC three stuff because I think they explained that a bit later. We we're gone by then. Yeah. And then they've got like a partnership with BBC. They've got a whole streaming thing, so they're gonna be having like fresh shows from BBC. So they're really working hard to catch up with Netflix, Showmax, everybody else, YouTube, everybody else. You know, okay. that's doing cool things. Um, and I think the South Africans deserve quality content. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And people being hired for their talent as well. You know, because we're tired of also seeing. Just pretty faces yeah. who probably got their gigs through couch casting or a friend of a friend because we don't have friends there, you know? Mm. So I think they're moving in the right direction. Yeah, and I'm excited, man. I haven't been on TV in like 20 years. Well, I haven't so done TV in like 20 years. what kind of a game show is this? Saul knows it It's best. called Raid the Cage. Raid the Cage. Raid the Cage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like a gaming show. Yeah, yeah, it's a gaming show. So basically, it's um two people, right? Yeah. It's... These are friends, right? This is a cage. That's, yeah? a, that's a cage, okay. Yeah, then there's other two people, they're gonna compete. I don't know eventually how they're gonna decide the winner, but there's a cage full of everything. Yeah, it's like you're in a macro or a or, or a game, right? Ooh, Imagine cool. with a lot of things. There's money, there's trips away, there's TVs, cars, fridges, Ooh. cars. You know what I mean? Like 
a lot of things that you can just take. There's money, there's cameras, mm. there's a lot of things. And then you as friends or sisters, brothers, siblings, partners, partners whatever. whatever you are, yeah. <clears throat> decide who's going to be with us. one of the hosts, us, uh, being asked questions, right? And each question they get right buys this person who's going to get into the cage time. Ooh. But they don't know how, how much time they have. They don't know what they got right, what they got wrong. All they know is they've got time. It's limited based on what they answer. Mm. And then they need to take as much stuff out of the cage. Ooh. So it's like 2021 looting. <laughs> but nigga. <laughs> yeah. They were like... So that's the real looting. They're so good. They must bring the show to South Africa because it's an international show. But legally, so you must loot as much as you can. Okay, yes. Cool. But now there's people like chilling here. They know when the time runs out, they then start counting down. The door here closes, right? If it closes with you inside, everything you took out is insignificant. Oh. You didn't win. Mm. You need to be out. Your entire body needs to be out, out of the cage. Then with the you stuff, win everything. Yeah. With the stuff that you're supposed to take yeah. out. Yeah. So if you, know, so how do you get out of If you know car? this motherfucker is smart and you know that you are strong and there's a mini, for example, any car you feel you can push out and you get maximum time and you can push the car out and get yourself out. Yo. Because you don't start the car, then you can like I'm out mm. That's like, a good question. Open. Yeah, how do you get the car out? Yeah, you push it. The, the, the gate is wide enough. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, the gate is wide enough. Okay. And that's essentially the game. It's like it's an international game. Mm. You can Google it and see the international nice. uh, um, variation of the raid game. Raid the gates. <laughs> raid, yeah, so you're raid the cage. You're raiding the cage. You raid yeah. and Sweet. loot and. I take. think it's gonna be good for us because you know, like obviously people that watch the show that are chillers get what we do. Yeah. yeah. But there's a whole other yeah. lot of other people who just think we're like misogynist, homophobic, yeah, all that yeah, bullshit. Yeah. Exactly. So we, we're like cleaning our brand. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're washing the so brand. And giving them good uh, talent as well and good TV and uh, everything else, you know, creativity. You know, funny enough, uh, 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 there was a big telecommunications <laughs> company that wanted to sponsor um, Spreading Humors. Um, so we signed the contract, boom, boom, they were excited, we were excited. And then they pulled out because they found out that the show was on my Panda. network. Yeah. Exactly. And then they pulled out, they're like, so, oh, these guys are controversial. You know, the whole yes. bullshit. Yeah. Wow. And imagine this show is going to be like from Monday to Friday, 30 mm. minutes every day. Every day. It's going yeah. where Skim Sam is going to be. It Ooh. is. So, and Skim Sam is the most watched show. You guys are about to be national treasure. Oh, Skim yeah. Sam. Oh. Oh, Skim Sam. Oh, Skim Sam. <laughs> 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 but it was so crazy because uh, yeah. uh, uh, we had we had the event yesterday in a ghost lady. Okay, uh, it was an industry event, uh, SABC, celebrities, all this stuff. And I haven't been yeah. to one of those in years, bro. So it felt yeah. so weird. And then I was talking to some of the celebrities. I'm like, "Hey, man, I hate these events, like these industry events." And all of them said they hate them too. Why? But they're Cause, all cause, there because you get there. It's fake, like fake love. It's, you can feel the, the the tension, but no one is expressing it. Yeah. But you, everybody's going to walk up to everybody expressing love and everything else. It's just like... So it's uh, so very and, pretentious. And, and, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and don't yeah. forget, we're all fighting for the same back. <laughs> yes. Ooh. So there were people there who hate the fact that, oh, fuck these guys. But they said... Fuck everything, fuck the establishment, <laughs> fuck, fuck. Why are they, why are they? Why you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, I had to give up my ass to get this gig. I deserve that gig as well. You know what I mean? So, so you can, you get like, so you can feel it. Some people weren't happy with it. Like, people didn't clap for us, did they? No, 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 they didn't. When, so there was a whole big surprise. Like, okay, you guys won't believe it, but here's a show. It's going to be one of the biggest shows there uh, uh, on SCPC2 coming up. We're changing the game. Can you guess who it is? You know? It's two they best friends. People, yeah. Two but best friends. Major League DJ. Someone's in the crowd said, Major League DJ! <laughs> Major League! And then like, someone's at the back is like, Mac G! Yeah. So me, I want the back, back straight. I'm like, it's Mac G! It's Mac G! <laughs> <laughs> right? And then when they announced this, obviously, you know? <sighs> and then there was like a mile of this. Yeah, like, like, uh, oh. There were a few chillers in the corner there. Yeah, no, no. Like five or four. <laughs> no, but there was even a guy who was a chiller. I was like, yo, bro, I, I didn't say this. You didn't hear it. I love you guys. I'm a chiller. Oh. You know what I mean? We're like, oh, my man, don't relax. It's fine, dog. We're, we're here now, you know? You can express that you're a chiller. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because clearly someone at the top had to approve it. And maybe they're chillers. Or maybe the production company had to convince them to say they can do it. They are good. They can get the job done. You know Ooh. what I mean? So, yeah. So, uh, so, shout, out, so, shout out, shout out, shout out to, 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 to Anel is the producer yeah. as well. Oh. Yeah. It's... 
Roses and Oaks. I get it now, the name of the production company, because yeah, yeah. she's the Rose. And Frankie's. She's, yeah, and she, there's two other guys who are the Oaks. Oh. But the name oh. makes it sound like it's Roses and Oaks, as in the oak trees and a rose because yeah. of the plant. But yeah. I'm like, oh. So when I checked with the city, because Anela was the person, the li- liaison person. Yes. The liaison Shout out to really. Anela, man. Shout out to her. And also, for me, that's one of the reasons I did it, because it's like, she gets it. You know what I mean? She, 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 she's been there, like, mm. you know? Because a lot of people who make the decisions within, you know, the, the media space, TV space, radio space, have never done a single day of radio, a single day of TV, a single day of podcasting or whatever. So it's better when you get someone who's been there, knows, you know, what goes, what works. Even me or even him, you, you know that you can go off script a bit. You can push the envelope a bit. You know it's a family show. Oh. But it will be someone who will be like, no, that's fine. That's oh, fine. I like that. That's cool. You know yeah. what I mean? Because they've been there, okay. you know? So, yeah. So I was like, okay, cool. I'll do it because you are the one who's going to say, oh, have the, the approval. Obviously, you're sent to channel to approve. Mm-hmm. But you, you can sit with them at a table and also say, I approved because of X and Y and Z, and you get what goes into it, and you respect the craft of it as well. You so know? Would, you, it, it, would you have declined if now if she was? Not I was going to be very skeptical. Yeah, yeah, I, I was, I was, but because of her and the respect, admiration that I have for her and what she does. Okay. You know what I mean? And watching the shows, she's behind like uh, uh, um, the, the singer, most singer, singer. For example, you know yeah. what I mean? So you're like shit. Yeah, you want to tap into that as well. Because if it wasn't for her, if they had brought up our names in that boardroom. People are gonna think, oh, these guys are gonna drink. They're gonna swear yeah. on a family show. You know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. Like if we, even if we maybe presented a show like that, oh, I'm like, ah, <laughs> it's gonna be podcast now you know, <laughs> on the TV. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's like the same way I'm on the radio every day. Yeah. yeah. The kids love me. Yeah. Parents of the kids love me. Yeah. They know what I'm on the podcast, saying what I say, doing what I do, but. There, it's a different space, and it's not exactly. a different person. Exactly. It's the father, family guy there. You know, then here, it's the Yauti. Yauti. Yeah, yeah, just a dude. Have you done the show, Hangover? Um, on thingy. Mm. On Kaya? Barely, eh? Barely. Barely. I used to do a lot of shows, Hangover and Why. Mm. But now, barely. Mm. Barely. Because on Sundays. On. Yeah? With so many gigs. But who's it? Miss Wiyagoma gig, I don't drink, eh? I'll uh-huh. go in on Saturday. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'll have I'll drink, but not like to get drunk. I'll drink to keep you hangover, but I can have eight hours of sleep and I'm good. Mm. I'm tired, yeah. Not hung because I, I also don't get have you ever heard me complain about a hangover though? Oh yeah, yeah, you don't get it. You drink I don't a lot get of water, hangover. Yeah. That's the mm. thing. Yeah, I don't get hangover. So I've I've drank mm. day before a gig. Oh. Yeah, mm. definitely. You know, I'm a grown guy. I'll oh. drink if I want to drink. But I I will be sober in the morning, mm. you know, and I don't get hungover. Like, like, oh, 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 my head is heavy, you know. What about tipsy? Have you done a show tipsy? Those are nice. I think man. I have. Like, you know, like from, you'll always have some uncle from a previous night, mm. you know, but tipsy enough, you can read, you can function, mm. you're good. You don't reek of alcohol. You showered, you're not drunk. Mm. But like, yeah, there's still alcohol in the system. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Remember, I overslept when we did the road to one million, but I was meant to do a show then. I definitely would have been tipsy mm. from the previous night, but I got home at like three. Instead of driving to Kaya and sleeping in the car, mm. decided to sleep home because I had missed a lot of days. So I felt like, fuck, you know? And then everybody was like, why don't you take the day off? The management was like, why don't you take a day off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I wanted to give your ass a warning, nigga. <laughs> 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 cause yeah, cause you gonna cause you didn't pitch up for work. Yeah. Like imagine you didn't pitch up for work, you didn't pick up your call, you didn't do anything, you know. Uh, and, and someone drove to my place, tried to get me to wake up. I didn't hear them. Mm. They were like shouting names through like the bathroom that side, you know. So they're like, "Oh, why didn't you take the day off?" I was like, "Oh, I felt bad. I missed too many days." I was like, "No." Oh, now we need to give you a warning here. Yeah. Oh, no, that's fine. I get it because it's in the contract. Like you miss it, mm. you don't. You're, you're absconding. Mm. You don't report. You can't get a hold of. We don't know what happened to you. There's no standing. You just didn't come. But if you look at it in hindsight, why film fucked us up, ne? Hey, hey, why film? Hey, listen, why film is like the transition I made, ne? Eh. When I remember when, uh, so 
from grade seven, I was in a public school, Glenview Primary. And then grade eight, I went to a private school, right? Only because my mom couldn't find a school for me because mm. we were living in Forslow and all the schools wanted you to have yes. an address from around. Yes, yes, You yes. know, to be eligible to, to go there. Oh. And now all the schools we tried let me down. Brecken Downs refused me, Sunnard Park, all the schools. And my mom wasn't corrupt enough to know that you can actually just fake a proof of address or get someone with the same surname. So now I was ah, forced to go so... to the school, which is a private school, right? Yeah. So when I got there, so my school fucked me up. Like, I, I could come without my homework done. You know, it's like, whatever. <laughs> it's like, fuck it. It's oh, like, yes, yes, it's yes, like, yes. oh, it's not done. Yeah. Yo, bro, I spent three weeks. They took, you know, those tables, those um, desks, sing, single yeah, yeah. student desk. Mm. I was in, in in the English class, I remember, St. Catherine's in Lambton, Miss Barrow. I was outside for three weeks because I didn't do a Hitler fucking assignment. Oh, no. What? Yeah, I didn't so do a Hitler. So you just sat there? Uh, yeah, yeah, for three weeks. I, when I, before our class got it there, because, yeah. you know, you change classes, my table is outside. They put my table outside. And it was my punishment, mm. you know? And, and then I had a rude awakening. Oh, fuck, things don't work like yeah, this. It doesn't work like in, this. In these spaces, you know what I mean? <laughs> things don't work like this. <laughs> fuck, you I'm like, fuck. I thought I'm more of a child, you know? Like, yeah. I didn't do my homework, so what? Ah, oh, wrong, dude, must do your homework, and yeah. So it's like that when you move from YFM hey, to dude, YFM, even worse hey, than seven. Ah, yeah, yeah, YFM fucked us up. I don't know if I've told this story, no. but I remember like, um, it was during one of the first few weeks I just started at Y, you know? So remember, I'm fresh out of high school. So I get to Y. <laughs> Oskido's doing an OB. So I'm there shadowing Oskido. <laughs> and th- just bear in mind, I'm fresh out of high school. This is the first thing I see at YFM. Oskido's doing an OB at some event. I think it was Wema Pam, Fed Cook in my Wuta event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah. spring yes. fest. And then the blind DJ. You know the blind DJ. What's his name? Uh, Phobia. DJ Phobia. Ah. So Oskido... <laughs> He's interviewing DJ Phobia. <laughs> the first question he asks him is, so, Uncle Elikao, man, you're in Bobo, you're born a Mick. <laughs> That's, That's my first introduction, this. dog. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Welcome to why. He wasn't drinking. <laughs> no, he was drinking. Yeah, cool. He's got phobia and phobias, yeah. It's phobias all over. <laughs> Welcome to IFA, man. Oh, man. Hey, yeah, good times, why, bro. God of those days. Fuck yeah, you, you, are. you can't just get to the and talk about holes. Yeah, I know. To, to, to high pounds or whatever. <laughs> talk about holes in, in, in the morning and stuff. You know what I mean? Oh, it is. Yeah. And what happened? You can get there, just do your show. You know? Mm. You could be reeking of alcohol. Someone can smell that, oh, guys, when drinking. Because they know you had a gig. An issue. You had a gig, yeah, it won't be an issue. Oh. Mm. You know, but uh, not other people. Anyway, go slate. What you got for us, man? What's cooking? What's cooking? So, Pegan. Pegan. Um, there's a story of Ula Sizwe. Basically, um, it's just a story of Uguti. Okay, his car was seen on Auto Trader being sold. So obviously, like, they created a whole lot of hype. Like, how can what happened, you know? So he did confirm it even in his latest post that he did have to, like, let go of his car. And because of financial issues. And, yeah, it's, just, it's life. It's life. And I like that he Same, actually man. just, you know... Like accepted it and said, "Yeah, oh guys, this is what's happening. This is what has happened to my la- to my car, and my- I'm going through some financial issues. It is what it is." Ah, it's tough, man. Cyril's economy is tough, man. Hey, oh yeah, it's tough. Yeah, man. what car is it? A Range Rover. Yeah. Imagine. Ish. 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 I don't know. I don't know when um Yanini, but it was like it was his, his new car. It's a nice one. Yeah, yeah it's very one of those nice. nice range yeah, ones. there's a very there's ah, a, but you bounce back. Like man. it, it did a post. Look, yeah, it's fine. You bounce back, and also it should be a lesson for everybody, man. You know, and I think if our like I'm glad he's owning it, yes. and he should, because like to to say to people, there's nothing wrong with downgrading. You know, mm. like if things aren't going well, because. It's worse than him having the Range Rover, having sleepless nights, uh, the, the, the West Bank, whoever is calling him, exactly. he's running, he's being desperate, he's doing things he doesn't really want to do for the sake of he knows he's going to get money just to keep up this lifestyle so that when he rolls up, he's rolling up. You know what I mean? Uh, things happen. COVID happened. People mm. lost homes. People lost cars. People yeah. lost a lot of things. Yeah. It's life, man. It happens. You know, like... 
It's fine, bro. It happens. To and you, you think it's that he's car, busy man. working. And it's just a car. Yeah. And also it'll, yeah, and it'll help him and other people next time when they get a car, they'll factor in all these things that, okay, I can afford the installment, but factor it in with the fuel. Mm. And also maybe my industry. Maybe mm. I won't earn this much. Maybe I won't earn that much, you know? Then you'll realize, okay, maybe I must just, it's just a car. It's for you to move from here to there. Yeah, some people do drive Rolls Ranges, but for them, it's they can afford them. Rolls Rangers. Rolls. Those those Rangers. Rolls Rangers. Those Rangers. Rolls Rangers. Rolls Those. I, said, I didn't say Rolls. He said Rolls. I didn't roll rose. my tongue, bro. I said those. Oh, those rangers. Those rangers. Oh, okay. I'm saying that. Point A to point B. You know what I mean? saying that on our new game show, man. You want yourself a Rose Ranger. There's a Rose Ranger. No, I said those. Those rangers, man. Like, you know what I mean? You see people driving those, but they can afford it. Some can't. Some people are drowning. Yeah. And I can't believe, like, pride, man. You know, just fucking let go of the car. Get a smaller car. People will actually have respect for you. And you'll inspire, because you'll be surprised there's more people who are living a fake life, you know, than, and those, those two will be like, wow. But also as black people, we hold too much value into cars, man. Like, literally, it's just supposed to get you from A to B. Guys. Yeah. That's it, right. bro. And like, if you can afford a really super one, Get it to spoil yourself, but it's not, it's for you. It's not for people. Yeah. It's for you and the comfort of you driving in it. But what's the point of having a comfort? But if petrol, you calculate some reserve tanks and stuff. It's not meant to be enjoyed like that. It's meant to be enjoyed without worrying about it. Mm -hmm. Worry about bigger, if you're going to be in a range, there's bigger things to worry about than petrol and your fuel and, and, and your fucking installment. You know what I mean? Like there's bigger things you should be worrying about. Like, how are you going to keep, you know, these 13,000 people paid at the end of the month or something, you know? Not how are you going to pay the fucking car. But let's be honest though, Sol. I think we're a society as black people. We really worship like the big cars or the, the nice car. Like, you know, with your family, if you, it's like you, 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 you know, if let's say, we're see, you know, you could, it's, it's, a, it's a thing that's celebrated. It's more than just, okay, yes, yeah, so we've started celebrating homes as well, but Imoto, like, Upumaguini, Uhambangani, ah, guys. No, it's what Zex Bandwini once said on our podcast. Oh, yeah. Validation. Yes, thank you. Yeah, to yeah. say when I walk into Conquer, they must know I've got money. Exactly. Yeah, yeah that's a way of explaining that. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. that, that sounded like, oh, actually, it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still silly. You can't Try take, your, whip it you up, can't take your, your house. Where's Neo when you need him? <laughs> <laughs> Why I would buy a BMW before I would buy a house? It's because I spend... 10 hours in the BMW, and I only spend three hours in my house. And I get to go to the house. You can't carry the house around. You can't carry the house around. <laughs> now, I have a, now I have a house. I have a house somewhere down here. Oh, no, no, he said, he said, because, ah, oh, he said, because black people have been humiliated, disrespected just for being black, generally. Exactly. Wherever we go, like a white person, you know, like, you may have a house 10 times nicer than him, bigger than his, mm. earn way more than him, but he'll just disrespect you already. And I'm paraphrasing. Yeah. Just because um, you're black. Yeah. But when you roll up in a Cayenne, Porsche, also, you'll know who you it's are. Immediate respect. You know what I mean? Yeah, because you can't take your home you to can't. the club <laughs> yeah. to, get, to get the respect. It's tactile titties or inside. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. You know, tactile titties or inside. Exactly. So, so a car. imagine that clubs where the only way you enter is if you have a title deed. <laughs> Not a no, not a type of deed. <laughs> a title deed. Drop. Ah, oh, oh, so so for free a clapping because of a type of deed or in the mouth. <laughs> and there are people who enter clubs because of a type of deed. <laughs> we know. <laughs> we see I'm a quantum for a bang about to hang. I'm a quantum of four. I'm a land deed. I'm a sign of a res because of a bad job. Because of a type of deed. Hey, George. I'm a security. I'm a bouncer. I'm a staff. Because of the staff, I'm a trailer mover now. That's when you see you are family now. We are. I thought you were family now. No, we're family. But we're honest. Honest family. 
so like that's what he said. So just to have the so stima, cause you see, Abong Gamla, I've always had the so stima. So he knows what in Kalewa is cliff my house. Mm. So mm. he was a fox jet because inferiority complex. Yeah. He knows who he is. Yeah. And stepping out, he naturally gets that respect. Even from a guy, who will look down on the next black guy. But from Ungam, Lo Hambang, Ayo, E. Fox, Magam Bona Shira Puzuko Festa Baxum mm. Kronip. But when a Zumdom Yama, you must put your best foot forward and the shiny one. Rolex. Which is your car, your Rolex. When you eat, put your car on the coffee table. Mm. The keys. The so, keys. The keys. Mm. Hey, Namkanj. Yeah, I know that's why. Right. <laughs> put the keys on the coffee table. <laughs> Cause the waiter. I'm a Rolls Range. Cause the waiter. I'm a cars on the top of the table. Yes, cause the waiter. I'm a figure. Uzo ke tuk naga unga amla loya. Yes. Agas gutu una naga nani. But uzo kabangu ti naturally the biggest tip I'm gonna get is from that guy, not this guy. Lona nyambono nu kuku kuku ile suit and stuff. Dude, it's so but crazy. But I'm so calm, cool queen. Sorry to cut you off, man. Yeah, it's so crazy yeah. you mentioned that it happened to me yesterday at the event. Cause I left, ne. So we were all uh, had tables where to sit, okay. and I left because I wanted to smoke. So yeah. when you go smoke, you just step like a few meters outside and you smoke. And I was chilling with like all the sound guys, the the staff basically mm -hmm. by the smoking area during the whole presentation. Okay. So now you know how I'm always dressed like in yeah, my you came with Crocs and like just, you know what yeah, I mean? shorts, top. So there was a lady who was I think managing the floor or the catering of the event. Yeah. And then the guy, we had a guy who was taking our orders from the table. Okay. So he saw me outside. So he comes outside to take my order to ask, what am I eating? What am I yeah, drinking? Boom, yeah. boom. So I'm busy telling him. She threw a fit. She's like, no, 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 guys, this is not for you. <laughs> Oh. Yes, because because he's not at the, at the shiny tables where there were shiny tables. He thinks you're just part of the, the sound crew. guys, yes. the, the crew. Yes, yes. yes. She's like, no, 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 this is for the people inside. You have yeah. to sit inside. So she did a whole rant, yeah. and eventually, when she finished, like, yeah, I'm smoking. I'm part of the guys. Yeah. She was so yes. like, like. Oh, but if you wore uh, Versace, embarrassed, yeah. embarrassed. Yeah. If yeah. if you wore the Versace suit or Ish. something shiny, nama cufflinks, that show that no, he's on the board. Yeah, he just here to smoke. Yeah, then she would respect him, and you know what I mean. It's wild. It's wild. So that's why. So they explain it like that. That's why we do that until we get to a point where we know who we are, we know ourselves, and you're comfortable, mm -hmm. and you won't be faced by. I mean, that shouldn't bring you down because you know who you are. You know what you've got. The, you know how much money you have if that's where you put in your value. You know the, the house you, you go to. You know the schools your kids go to. You know your family sorted. Your wife is good. Everybody's good. You're good. You're, yeah. And you're content with that, right? So that shouldn't be getting you down, but it still gets us down and everything else. I'm trying this I saw it's cooking. Ooh. I saw it's cooking. I saw it's cooking. I saw it's So it's fine to get that car you can afford because you know, Guti, you're still the shit. You know what I mean? Like, you don't need for people to see that you're the shit because we're figuring a Range Rover, you know? So shout out to La Cesar for actually being honest and coming out. And saying, ah, he'll be fine, man. La Cesar's talented. No, he'll he'll yeah, exactly. Fine. He's yeah. talented. He'll be fine. And you'll realize that, oh, shit, I've been making so much money and maybe, possibly, I don't know his... And he's young, man. He's young. Even, 25, yeah. right? 25, yeah. driving Range Rover. Imagine. These kids are wild, oh, man. man. <laughs> And you know what I believe? Pressure, when you lose man. something, you're actually going to even get it more. Like, I, I, I'm a huge yeah, believer in that. Yeah, it must feel the pressure. Like, if you lose something, it's okay. Because that just means you know exactly how to get it again, to attain it. You already know. Unlike someone who's studying from scratch and doesn't even know how to get it. Yeah. So, he's already equipped. He knows. Uh, what you guys think about Kanye West trying to remove... Um, well, he's not trying to remove, but he's trying to um, launch his new album on his website. So, not on these streaming uh, platforms. So he's trying to uh, put it on his website where you can buy for like $20, but you won't find it on the streaming websites. Um, it's, 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 it's a good idea. And it's also a good test to see if, can that work? And mm -hmm. how, how much the people who say, we fuck with you actually well, the reason, fuck with you. The reason why he started doing that, because I don't know if you saw, but during the Super Bowl, 
uh, he did an ad with his iPhone. And right? he made like seven million. In yeah, yeah. so he directed traffic to his website for people to buy merch and stuff. Yeah. And he made like ninety million dollars. So he said, like, like you're saying, well, this is proof in the pudding that it works. And I feel like I feel like he, did, he didn't just make that decision from thin air. It's quite smart because he's been having a journey where people have seen that yes. um, he's had his wings clipped yep. by. I won't say who, mm. you know, <laughs> really? by a certain group yeah, of people, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And who've, 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 who've cut his wings and who've literally tried to humiliate him, strip him down, take everything of his, right? And he does have almost somewhat of a cult following. That's, uh, I mean, testament to, you know, what his, influence, uh, yeah. his influence. And he's putting that to an, another test. But now it don't just be like, Oh, Jay Z is no. We've he's documented his struggle against the system mm. that well. So when he goes out the system, people it, they're not just also buying it because they love Kanye's music. They're buying it because they love Kanye's music, and they've gone through what he's they've seen what he's gone through. You release music. Why do you use DSPs, well? Why do you use these streaming platforms? <laughs> it's what everybody does, bro. And it's where all the big guys have gone. And sometimes you think to yourself, like, fuck, you know, if you go this route where people are like, it's so difficult to find your stuff. And also what that has done where everybody go to DSPs and iTunes, Spotify, it has made everything so much easier. People are like, you know what it's like, bro? You remember when internet radio was a thing yeah, yeah. and it started being a thing? And I was like, fuck, man, if I could listen to Kapsela and I could listen to whatever, uh, just like that, why should I jump through hoops and do this and do that just to listen to this guy? You see? So Kanye West has, has given a reason why you should, because we've seen what has been happening with Adidas, his deals, and uh, uh, how... But also, there's no money in streaming, dog. The money And there is no money. We're getting... Like... Uh, Ah, Ripped off. Ghost Lady. Ah, We're getting no rock. Oh, oh yeah. That. Snoop Dogg. Did you see that by Snoop Dogg? Uh, <clears throat> um, they were celebrating that they got to a billion streams on Spotify and he got like 40,000 US dollars. Listen what? to that. that. And From that's a billion like streams. 900,000 rands. Fuck. Oh. Or less than 900,000 rands. Jeez. What's that? A mill is nothing. A million rands is nothing to Snoop Dogg. No. From a billion streams. And he, he was like, what am I going to do with this? You know, like. It's weed, man. And then, him, please, can someone calculate if it was $20, a billion streams, how much is that? Oh, if, yes. If yes, you went yes, direct yes. to consumer. Yes, yes, How much yes. would that be? Yes. Ooh. But that's, the, that's that the $20 billion? would be, wait, let's make it a more realistic feel because $20 mm -hmm. would be for the album. Yeah. But this is not, because... It's oh, that's a, one song. It's a, oh, it's for billion, one song. No, it's for all the songs. Oh, all Just the songs combined. Listen listened to three, a, a billion times. Oh. All of his catalog listened to a billion times. So one song has got 400 million stream, one has got 30,000. Mm. Where are you going, million. yo? Did your computer <laughs> 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 So let's treat it. Yeah, it, it, it went to <laughs> our <laughs> E. <laughs> no, let's say, <laughs> let's say those were sales. Like all those songs were bought. His music, Direct to consumer. His music, all his albums, because he's got that kind of catalog. You know, all the singles, songs. At one dollar, let's say one dollar. At one dollar. Then that's a billion dollar. It's a life changing, Look game changing. It's like, yeah, net mm. worth changing. It's changing everything. Ah, they're fucking us up, these guys. They're sure changing. Would it be, us. Wouldn't it be something that you guys would do? <laughs> to do? To go the same route like how Kanye West is like just releasing it from your website. Ah, no one really likes our music, let's be honest, man. <laughs> So why do you? It, why it do means you the release it? To do. Yeah, oh. that's why. Uh, that's what I was getting to. Yeah. Like, people are like, yeah. "Yo, man, I can get a cover of Kelvin Momo. Why should I jump?" Yeah, like Kelvin. Kelvin, if he had a website yes. where you can buy, he would, Yo, bro. Why should I jump through to listen to Salt? Till you prove you proved your mental in that space. Uh, yes, you know what I mean. So okay. it means like, like the, the 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 game changes. You know, the big play yes. to go like, nah. Fuck this is it. how we're doing it. This yeah. is how I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Remember Jay Z? That's how he does it. Like his album was on his platform for like a week, two weeks. Then you'll get it on uh, 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 like all these. Fat Checker, you've been quiet today. You're right there. Shem, no, we've been, been telling been... the truth. 
Mm. <laughs> it was for the fact. So, we made it obsolete. <laughs> so, don't pray on us. No, um, right? Okay, so... Um, <laughs> don't throw Bible. 20 times a billion will be 20 billion, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, I saw on a Spotify website that it doesn't necessarily mean that if you have 20 um, billion streams that it will equate to that same amount mm. in fact having one million dollar streams gives you four to seven thousand dollars and then you know, a billion gives you 45 yes thousand. which is true because you can't say a stream is a sale because... <laughs> I was a swing like these piano kids i know it's fine the way <laughs> no but now but you <laughs> I get that a stream is not as much as a, a, a sale, right? Because a sale is the purchase of the song. And a lot of songs we listen to, we wouldn't maybe blindly buy. You yeah, know? streaming. Yeah, actually. I need right? To... Yes, but you listen to it because it's there. It's there. However, the money that is being received by artists from streams, it's stupid. It's 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 a disgrace. Yeah. No, it's fucked up, man. It's a disgrace, man. It's Who's a this? disgrace. Jabulo Sagzo is a producer. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. It's no, a no. disgrace, man. Mm. Like it's honestly. You know what I mean? Maybe it shouldn't be a dollar, but a fuck maybe make it like 40 fucking cents. Mm. Make it 50 cents. You know what I mean? Like, get rich or die trying. At least make this shit 50 cents. <laughs> <laughs> get this. No, for real, man. Like, it's just like, because you're still consuming a whole intellectual property, man. Like, mm. music. That the reward of listening to the music, it heals your soul. It gets the party powerful, started. It drops the panties off the girl you just brought home because you want to create the vibe and it's been awkward for a bit. You know what I mean? Evan, 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 Evan. And it's a family music. show. Evan, it's a family Evan. show. Evan. It's a family show. <laughs> ah, it's not a face. It's a busy team now. It's YouTube now. <laughs> No, I'm just trying to stress no, the value you, of you. music mm, mm, mm. and how it's being underappreciated. There's by a team. song that plays Mac, and you can remember. Makes me want to cry. You can, yeah, you can remember. You the, know what song that is? The sad piano. You know the sad piano. Yeah, Justin Martin. Yes. Thank you. There's so many. A day in December. Ah, Manu. Yeah. Oh, it's a so, you, see the, you see that joy we just had of a day in December, Manu. You know what I mean? The songs that make you think of your late grandfather, you know that song? grandmom. No. You must listen to it. So there's no Was vocals. It's Nebim, Banina, yeah, there's no vocals. Nebim. It's just a beat that it's playing like. It's like, think of a thousand seconds. It's like a thousand seconds. So on radio, I once called Christos Oskiro. I'm like, what does this song mean? <laughs> Those kids like, I miss most rock, my man. Uh... <laughs> Nobody knows what it means. <laughs> and it's just a so instrumental, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's, it's packed with so much emotion. Nice. But uh, no one Bronco, can tell you what it means. Memories. Means. It was your soul that touched your soul. Oh. Ah. A song about his mother. Ah. Mm. Yeah, a song about his mom. Mm. Yo! Yo! Oh. Ting, 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 Speaking about music, I was listening to like old school hip hop, like hip hop from the nineties. When did you guys do that? It's uh, been a minute, ne? Yeah, I randomly do that, uh, not with hip hop, but with some other music, like, yeah. randomly. Yeah. yeah, depends. Like uh, maybe. Oh, like a nineties playlist. Yes, yes, I, yes. I do that. Yeah. Okay, not a playlist. I hardly play the stuff, eh? But I'm listening to the lyrics. And I'm like, these niggas would get cancelled if they drop the music right now, bro. Mm. You must hear some of these lyrics, bro. Mm. Hey, it's insane, man. Listen to this. Listen to this. <laughs> it goes. Man, cats don't know what it's gonna be fucking with a nigga like me. 
D to the M to the X. Last I heard, y'all was having sex with the same sex. I show no love to homo thugs, empty out. Reload and throw more slugs. How are you going to explain fucking a man? Even if we squash the beef, I ain't touching your hand. Ah. <laughs> 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 DMX was, a, DMX was the worst, bro. He the worst. No way. Imagine, now, in this day and age, no, you're you fucked, and, and, and you're fuck, bro. And like if there was a podcast, Back in those days, you could just randomly sing that on the podcast. Yes, you know what I mean? yes. And the, the society wouldn't even cancel you. Yeah. There's more. Like, there's oh. more. There's more. Listen to this. It's like even the F word in hip hop used to be like, yeah. uh, like, oh man, like you know when you say, oh you're a pussy to someone, you could just say, oh you're just like that. Yeah. How? Just like that. Ah, oh, try that shit today. <laughs> there's more. Listen to this. The black demon got little hookers screaming, woo, because you know I love it young, fresh and green with no hair in between. Bloody fuck, Ew. is that Buster? That's Notorious B.I.G. Oh, I love Buster Rhymes. Oh, okay. I'm dead wrong. Uh, they're from the same hood. Uh, this one, I'm sure you know this one. I thought it was Buster. Hey, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was Buster Rhymes. But it's fine, it's not Buster Rhymes. It's uh, Notorious, not the both from Brooklyn, so. They went to the same high school, I think. Buster Rhymes, Jay-Z, and... Um, oh, for real? Yeah, Basta, Jay Z, and, and and Biggie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Same high school. Uh, I'm sure you know this one. Mm-hmm. If J Lo, if J Lo was my own mother, I'd still fuck her with no rubber. Oh. Fuck, that's low, bro. <laughs> Shit, that's M M M M M M. Oh, M M M M M. Wow, Marshall Mathers LP. Yo. Here's another one. Don't you know my nigga gotta fucking kidnap kids, fuck them in the ass, throw them over the bridge. Eminem. Oh, wow. No, Notorious B.I.G. Uh, <laughs> what are these guys, pedophiles or what? Like, Here's another one. Hey. 12 I'm, inches to a know. yard and have you sounding like a retard. Yeah, you can't even call people retards these days. Yeah, right? yeah you can't. Yeah, you can't even call like, someone a retard, even if they like acting. Must you I can't go even on? call someone a retard. Must I go on or you get, you get the gist. Yeah. Damn, bro. Okay, I evil. I would get, hey, get the point hey, now. Hey. We get the point now. <laughs> I even make the bitches a rape come. Uh-uh. Hey, bro. Aye, aye. <laughs> that's just <laughs> Mac Mathis. That's like, that's like Mac Mathis. Yeah, just hate that. You're making this up, yeah. man. People are going to Google these lyrics. You know that, right? Yeah. Uh, no, say it. Look, look, look. It says, it says, I even make the bitches I rape come. Ne? And then another user said, who Is said this? It? Yeah, read it. And then someone said, who said this? And they said Eminem on Medicine Ball, I believe. Yeah, Eminem said a oh, lot Eminem of Oh, Eminem was things. wild, bro. Eminem, Eminem said a lot of like, wow. Because hey. Eminem, the, the issue he said was even wild for them. It was like, hi, bro. Hi, bro. Yeah, Eminem, we're not yet in 2024. Relax, bro. <laughs> but this is shocking us. Yeah. We can't, uh, you know, we, uh, no, Eminem's no, stuff was wild for even then, the hi, bro, talk. Yeah. We're shocked. We're not even in 2024. Like, <laughs> what is this? Eminem has really not... Because he was like, he would take a, a stab at like... Uh, um. His mother. Christopher Reeves, and you remember Christopher Reeves paralyzed. Oh, yeah, was paralyzed. Yeah, yeah, like um, what's that other one? Hawkins. What's his name? Stephen. Stephen. Like, yeah, bro. If you had a, if you just, he would be going in at Michael Schumacher, for example, right mm. now. If like he was Eminem breaking out mm. now, mm. you know, like going in at who would go in? At? Yeah, she'd go in. Oh, he's ah. gonna come out. He'd have a field day with Skomota. Ah, yo, Eminem would have a field day, yo. What do you think he'd say? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Eminem, Eminem would have fired Skomota. Oh, my goodness. Eminem, yeah, so. So, when, when did it start changing? Uh, when did we start getting woke, though? When did the wokeness start, bro? Because niggas were saying this shit now, now, in the 90s, bro. It's the wokeness came just. With nah, girls. it just came. Don't you think about like social that, media? It came with social media. I would say yeah, because the wokeness. Is, yeah. Because even on Facebook, we weren't woke on Facebook, guys. You could say these things on Facebook, you know, and you'd get like a poke. And a friend, <laughs> you get a poke and ten friend requests. You get a poke and ten friend requests. Like you knew, you knew I, what I posted is lit. Someone recommended me, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Even you know when Twitter, I think... bro. Wait a minute, guys. The <coughs> national anthem, Mukharimbe, isn't that cancelable? No, nah, no. Nah. That even back then was frowned upon. Because mm. remember... Because um, well, what did you say? See, see, see. 
That's rapey, man. Am I your view? That's in your visa, eh? No, in your visa, that's not rapey. No, well, that's pepe sad, like, you know what I mean? But that sounds like... That's pepe sad. Mara piano songs they have. That's pepe sad, yeah. Uh, Cancelable. I come your wife. What? What? They have weird lyrics as well, man. Who? Oh. Piano guys. Yeah. Back then, when piano started, it was very oh, vulgar. Oh, okay. Now oh, no yeah. one is doing those. Are you Yeah. Now come your wife. Aspe pan ne gu chimney or something. No, <laughs> no, no one is there. Like, chimney. Yeah. Hey. We what like I know that's that's safe. We what like I. No, yeah, like yeah. When piano started, they had, they had those lyrics, but not now. No, what? What? Eh? What? Fuck my she, wife, she. my loo, man. That, that, can, that can be said, like, Jungle, Santa Claus is Febe, Father Christmas, is, you know that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that you can say at a party, but no one is going to endorse it on a song. Which one was, I give you a baby boy? Now, Kao Nyoba. Now, Kao Fangwana. Yeah. Mm, was that a recorded song? Oh, no, 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 it was a chance. Yeah, some of these things are just chants. See, because they know that when you've got like people of the same, you know, ilk, people who are... Who now it's just no weird. Nah, they've gone soft, eh? Now it's just <laughs> weird. <laughs> oh! And pointing at him. <laughs> saying, yeah. I remember recently. <laughs> now, yeah, but it's, 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 it's... Jason was saying now the chance that you hear in the club, like, they're quite, like, crazy. Yeah. Are they back? Yeah, they're like back. Like what? Like what? Like like... Let's ask Jason. Let's call Jason, Jason. You know what it's like. 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 It's like in those WhatsApp groups with the white people, right? Mm. The racist ones. Mm. And then, or where mm. they throw the keywords mm. and it's mm. fine. Mm. Yeah. And then, so the spaces like at parties and stuff, it's like that environment. Mm. We can just be, say these things. Yeah. You don't want to put them on a song. But then on Twitter, you are woke. By the mass media. But then on Twitter, you are woke. People. You won't say those, those things on Twitter. You may, you may not be calling people out, but you will not say them. No, you know I'm what I mean? saying I'm at the club. I'm saying so the club is the WhatsApp group. So I'm at the club. I'm saying this, that till you go to another club where you think, because there's always that, you know, people they join, they come into this new neighborhood, and then they're like, <laughs> I saw this black, and then they get screenshot. They still you, but another white person is like, this is not that kind of group, nigga. <laughs> and now you're trending. There's always that white guy who, who thinks it's fine to say this, and then people are like, uh, or one or two are like, no, not here. But, so it's like that. It's a safe. It's a safe space, the club, yeah. for people who. To, spread to, to, to swear and be as vulgar as possible, all in the name of piano or vibe. You know what I mean? Because it's not in the name of hatred or the name of killing people or hating a certain group. Mm. It's in the name of let's be vulgar, get horny after listening to these songs and God Nick, knows do what. Yes. You know what? You asked the question about um, when did we start getting uh, becoming rich, <coughs> yes, right? Yes. Don't you guys think that it was when... Now, companies will check your social media. To, like, if it's part of the assessments, checking your CV, like, how are you behaving? Oh, and then that now social. made, yes. Mm. That. Yeah, because people were getting... People, remember the guy who was working at Invest Tech? What did he do? Was he beating up his lady? I forgot. There's a guy, fact checker, I hear you come in now. There's a guy who worked at Invest Tech. What's her name? He was beating up his woman or something, or mm. very abusive. And then they found that, ah, it's Invest Tech is working mm. for us. You know, your shit is online. Mm. You just Google... Oh, there was that era. Yeah. Yeah. There was an era where everything, yeah. There was an era where know, you could stalk people easily, where yeah. you meet a ghost like, hi, I'm Tap Singh, I work at Cartrack. And you got just go Facebook, Tap Singh, Cartrack. Cartrack, ah! <laughs> you find... <laughs> everything. 20 of them, yeah. you find 20. Because they've all put that they fucking work at Cartrack and yeah. their names are there. And then you find the profile picture. Yeah. Next thing, you're friends, you know? Mm. Yeah, so there was that era where people were calling people out. Yeah. Like, oh. And going for your job because there's exactly. black people who want to go for another's bag. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like, oh, you're here. I'm going to send you back down because you've said some foul shit. You don't belong here with the white people. Can't you see? We're all nice and stuff. Yeah. Don't you know you can only say it in the club? <laughs> don't you know? Kind of I say two in the club, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hashtag, get them fired. <laughs> you fact checker, man. you've had your hand up for a while, man. What's up? Um, it doesn't say much on the person's name. It just says that the High Court of Western Cape did work on the matter. 
And it was a case in 2020, the one that um, Sol is speaking about. And then for the wokeness, it was started by Gen Z's through influence of music. And then in 2010, it started becoming a church. The Gen Z's fucked it all up. It's the Gen Z's, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm not Gen Z. Me. Yeah, we're millennials. Oh, I'm a millennial, bro. Yeah. We're the smart generation. Okay, we're yeah, I can't about. get yeah. two fact checker. Yeah. No, no, we're not the Gen Z's. Gen Z, man, what do you mean, dog? Come on. Oh, the Come Gen on. Z's. Ooh. Yeah, you are the Gen Z's. You're the Gen you guys you fucked everything up. <laughs> nah, but there's old people, dog, who are older than us, even who are our age, who are push, who push this woke cancel culture. Mm. No, they, yeah, come on, you know. Let me call Jason. I want to find out what the kids are saying because he's yeah. at Stones there. Yeah, oh, yeah, said, yeah, yeah. I remember. Jason was like, yo. Well, the kids come, surprised. come save the kids. Fact yeah. checker, bring your Bible. <laughs> come pray for these kids. Come pray for them kids. The Bible's gone. How, what happened to the Bible? Kanti Fact checker, what do you say when you go out? What do you say when you go out? I sing along like every other person. Hey, my Jay. Yeah. Hey, yo, what's up? You live on the podcast, man. Oh shit! <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, we, we want to find out what are the kids saying in the clubs now, man. Like when they chant, like what are they saying? Are they still saying "na kaufangwa na a baby boy"? Ah, my man, dude, that's that's old school, bro. Bogun kaufangwa, that's some old school shit. <laughs> what are they saying now? <laughs> ah, my man, donkey boy, yo, master poos. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yep, I told you. <laughs> Imagine. Um, <laughs> Let's send the Gen Z's to go clean up. <laughs> two cases. What, what else are they saying, my G? Ah, uh, bro. Uh, <laughs> man, what, what do they say now these days? Um, fuck, man. I can't think of anything at the moment. Um, but I know that was the first time that I just told you. Yeah. Um, and then the, you know, then the, the then the other ones when I just the, the regulars, the, you know, the, the, the what the MCs usually chant and all of that. But there's another nasty one that they do doing now. I just forgot <laughs> it. Yes. Do you, do you know the Father Christmas one, bro? Yeah. Do you know the Father Christmas one? <laughs> I don't know the Father Christmas one. <laughs> oh. So ho, 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 for the Christmas kiss fair, ho, ho. Oh, oh, for yes, real? Yes, yes, you know, yes. yeah, ho, 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 for the Christmas yes, kiss fair, yes, yes. It started last December. It's the Christmas It's going to come back, festive season. <laughs> Wait for it. But, uh, it's quiet now. But basically, but basically what's going on these days, the next year, the better. Wow. Hey, we gotta call him and them quick fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my Jay. Shout out, my dog. Uh, shout out. Hey, your master boost. <laughs> All right, and on that note, it's time to find the chilla. Oh, nice. Yes, 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 yes. No, no, no. Oh, not um, they're not here, not today. Oh. Uh, we're gonna give them a call. So the first person. So we raised thirty six thousand seven hundred and eighty this month. Shout out to the members. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. So we're getting closer and closer to the forty shout out mark. To us. Yeah. Who's some of you are not members? Some of the the, the na na na. I saw Spiro sit back like he's guilty. Yeah, let's see your phone. Are you a member? Yeah, it yeah. Like Yo, a member. can you see a YouTube, please? YouTube, yep, YouTube, yep, please. Yep, yep. Nah, you nah. never phone now. You're not a member. Yep, he's not a yep. member. He just admitted. Oh, he's not. Can a let's member. see a YouTube. Can you? Uh, yeah, yeah. You're not a member. Can you ah, grab the phone? There, can you grab the phone? Do do. Let's see. Your, do, do, do. Can you? Let's see your phone. Do the YouTube. Do. Grab you just phone. YouTube. Grab YouTube. <clears throat> Just go to podcast on the YouTube. It's gonna show us. Give us the phone. Ah, uh, but are you subscribed? Yes. You remember? Yes. Yes. Follow. Yes. Sometime last year. Tato. Oh. Only last year. Uh, and it's not subscribe. Remember? Who subscribe? You subscribe. You don't even have YouTube point. on your phone, bro. What are you talking about? Uh, oh, you got a new phone. Uh, oh, you got a new phone. Okay. Mm. Shots. Shots. You're shots, the day one. Let's see. Let's see. Eh? Uh, <laughs> so you guys are not even like, wow. You're not even giving like 10 rands to the podcast. <laughs> yeah, it's your fault, man. Spewer, where's yours? <laughs> <laughs> I have two accounts. Ah, he has two accounts. Wow. Ah, this guy. <laughs> Got two accounts. Fact checker now. You're undermining us. You're undermining wow. us, guys. Mac, let's see yours, bro. Yeah, you can see mine, dog. Let's see yours, bro. So it says, where does it show if you're a member? 
No. Uh, 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 <laughs> go to the podcast. It's going to say perks. Because uh, wait, it, 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 wait, it says join. Yes. Where are you now? What is this? Oh, he said he subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, you must become a man, boy, man. Hey, these guys. Um, let me see. Ah, uh, he's not. Ah, uh, he's not. Mm. It says join here. Yeah. Oh, ah, tabang. Tabang. Yeah. tabang says join. Join, I'll join. join, join, join. I'm joining a premium membership. <laughs> Anyway, cool. So, 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 yeah, we raised 36,000. 14 rands. Yeah, we raised 36,780 rands. Join. No, Mina. Oh, my phone is here. What do you mean? Let's see. I've joined. What are you talking about? Premium. I'm paying 130 rands. I'm paying 125 rands. What's wrong with you? Hey, no, yeah, what's up? Hey, man. All right, cool. Cool. No, so, man, no, um, nice. so, basically, if you want to find a chiller, just become a member. And then uh, the money that we raise from membership, we're going to give it to the chillers. So, today, we're giving it to Masejo Bonti. Uh, let me... Sounds like a lady, right? Masejo. Masejo. Yeah, let me Bonti. give it a call. She's a teach a teacher engineering in and graphics and design teacher. Okay, so she's a teacher in engineering, graphics and design at Veleda Technical High School in Caltonville, a non-fee paying <laughs> school. He needs oh it's a he. He needs drawing equipment for his learners. Despite the challenges he faces in class with a shortage of equipment, he still managed to achieve a 100% metric pass rate in his subject. They would, like to, uh, they would like assistance with this so that their students can stay encouraged and not drop the subject due to these challenges. Okay. So it's oh, a guy. Shout out to the non-fee uh, paying school. Yeah, non-fee, non, non-fee paying school. Or it's just government school, right? <clears throat> I'm not sure, man. I haven't been in school in a while, man. Damn, bro. Masejo. Caltonville. Hello, Jella. Caltonville. Hmm? Have you ever dated in Caltonville? Gold diggers there. <laughs> it's a mining town. It's man. a mining town. <laughs> I had a beautiful girl there once. Oh, yeah. Story time. And then the priest. Remember, I told you this story about the priest. And the priest who to, to took the, your girl. Mm, she was from Caltonville. Oh, damn. You want to breach the mailbox? She's in the oh, missionary now. You almost you wanted to kill yourself. <laughs> She's in the missionary. Oh, that's another one. Oh, oh shame, man. Oh. Hey, there's a lot. Eh? Uh, much. A... Wow, man. Uh, so sh- he's not answering. Eh? I don't know, dog. I don't know, man. I don't know how that happened. But you know these guys. Ah, uh-uh. uh, come on. No. What fund is it? Oh. Go deep, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so congratulations to Masejo. Yes. All right. Masejo right. Ponti. Masejo Ponti. Uh, unfortunately, he's not answering, but yeah, shout out to him. Shout out. Uh, half of the money is coming his way. And then the next one is Ranzo Fezzani. Nimvenda. Kezo. Ranzo Fezzani. Fezzani, yes. Ranzo Fezzani. Miko. This person is a former student who was from Njerere in Limpopo. That's where I come from. Oh, wow. And was defunded by Nafsus. He's now unemployed. And to deal with the issue of unemployment, he has started to build a chicken coop and plants and plans to start selling eggs in the community. He says the issue of unemployment is rife in his community and he hopes that this venture will not only assist him with employment, but also the community at large. Uh, Mr. Fedzani, what do you mean? Okay, so man, you're live on the podcast. So Penduka is here, Ghost Lady is here, man. Yeah, hey, Pizzani. Hey, Pizzani. Oh, hey, how are you? How are you? I'm actually Pizzani. Pizzani. Oh, oh no, they, read it, they wrote it wrong here. Uh, and your first I name is what? You, I think you read it your wrong. Own one, your own one, boy. You read it wrong. Uh, your own one, your own one. Your first name is? Pizzani. My first name is Ranzwa. Hey, Ranzwa. Ranzwa. Make you a vendor you should be able to read this thing. Mm. It's his no, own one. It's his own one. Remember, there's a whole team that uh, sends me this thing. So they wrote it incorrectly. You know, I never did anyone know you. You have Vuma Para Para again. I do. Nifa Gangere. Nifa Gangere. Oh, Nifa Gangere. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Nifa Gai? Oh, my word. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I was putting up at Zima, just a uh, 30 minutes drive from my place to you to Super Zima. 
Oh wow! So you see, we're from the same hood. Even. Oh, you know, I'm Kwebo, uh, Homestead. Yeah, I know. I actually know the place. There is my aunt who stays there, so I actually now and then. Ah, nice one, man. No, shout out to you, man. We just called to let you know that um, half of the money we raised thirty six thousand seven hundred and eighty this month. Half of it is coming your way, Nduna. That's like eighteen thousand. Oh, thank 000, you, right? thank yes. you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Congratulations, ah, being a chila, being a chila is nice. Thank you, thank you, guys. So, what are you going to do with the money? So, um, I I started this. I I built a, a chicken coop um last year. So, um, wow. was just looking for funds to uh buy the chickens and buy chicken feeds and all things that I need for for this business, you know, so I couldn't get any funds. So I don't worry. If I, I, I apply or on Chila's funds, I, I, I will be able to get something. So I'm going to invest this on that business. And what type of chickens do people use for Ugloye? Well, which ones are those ones? Oh. <laughs> there are those ones, you know, that uh, grannies have uh, in, in their homes, you know, those ones. Uh, so, sometimes you may find them they are in black colors or red colors they are the ones that uh, are, yeah those ones those ones, even when you cook them they, uh, they you, you can't even just prepare them not everyone is able to prepare them wow there's red chickens I've never seen a red chicken bro yeah, they are oh, some they are are golden dead. brown. Yeah, brown. Some are yeah, brown, not, yeah. red. Some can be red yeah. uh, with a bit of like really bronze, almost, yeah, bronzy color, mm. copper color. And then some are, are black. So, bro, tell me, what's special about breeding the white chickens? And what, what what's the name for the white chickens? I've forgotten now. Because also, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you sell. No, I, I'm I'm not going for those white ones. I'm going for those who are the the, the egg layers, actually, the ones that produce eggs. Oh wow! What color are those? Oh, yeah. What kind of what kind of like what? How do those look like? Oh, they they are brown in color. Those ones are brown in color. But you, they're edible, obviously. You can chow them and cook them nicely. Yeah. yeah after that, you know, most of people, cause um, as as they age. Um, there, there, there will be a time when they, they will not be able to produce eggs anymore. So people use them as, as meat after that. Oh shit! No man, shout out to you, man. And then kupu yanga anga kuku Friday, so ndo 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 kuwa. Oh. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. You will be my first customer. Oh, so oh, okay, fantastic. I thought you were up and running. I thought running. you were going to be your first. I thought you were you in business. No, uh, we are we are going to run for the for the second time actually. So we we had the first ones. Now we wanted for the the the, the, the second ones. Actually, as they grow, the 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 time comes when they are not able to produce eggs anymore. Oh, so, so you couldn't buy. Yeah. Okay. So I at the moment are you already producing eggs or it's just the chickens? Oh, we we, we did eggs. Um, we were we were running actually, so um we were no longer able to produce eggs from those chickens, so we had to 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 actually sell them. But the business was not growing in actual effect. We, there were mistakes that we were doing there and there. So we went for people who knows about this business. They gave us um instructions and directions. So now we are ready to go for the second time. Oh, so I'll be a first customer for the new batch. That's what you're saying. Mm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yes. Shout out. And then are you coming to the Limpopo uh, podcast on Live Nation uh, leg? Yeah, in, in Pulukwan. Yeah, 27th of April. 27th of April. Um, I won't be around because I will be at Joe Come Vegas on. Don't time. be a chicken, oh, man. No. Come on. <laughs> 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 no, shout out to you, man. All the best, my dog. All the best. No. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. No problem, man. Yes, yes. Speaking okay, about Mac, the don't tour. Be a chicken, don't you? What? What happened? 
¡Oh, oh Asquis! ¡Árrense! <risa> ¡Árrense, Asquis, chomeón! <risa> eh, so, yes, we're back on the road, guys. Everybody excited? ¡Em cuacuen! Oh, we're back on the road. We're excited? ¡Em cuacuen! ¡Let's go! ¡Em cuacuen! ¡Em cuacuen! ¡Em cuacuen! ¡Em cuacuen! ¡Yes, The Strapped oh, Horse uh, uh, Podcast and Chill oh, Live Nation oh, Tour continues. Bloom for Dane, you are next. Bloom. We're going to be at the Civic Theater on the 18th, on the 13th, rather, Shout of out, April. So, Shout 13th Bloom. of April, we're at the Civic Theater, and then we hit Limpopo next month on the 27th of April at Merupa Casino. Uh, it's the last leg. Nah, the last one. one. And tickets in Cape Town already sold out, eh? Oh, yeah. oh, oh yeah. 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 Cape Town. Cape Town showed us so much love, man. Yeah, shout out, Cape Town. Uh, so don't forget, if you become a member, we're offering a 20% discount and a 50% discount if you become a super chiller. Mm. Uh, so just check out the membership tab. Oh, you can also gosh. become a Patreon and then we'll give you the promo codes to get those exclusive discounts. But Bloom, I'm excited. We need mm. to make up because last time it was, uh, it was a nightmare. Hey. Oh, you yeah, I remember Bloom. Right? No, yeah. no, okay. Them so who, awesome do show. we know our guests now? Like, do we know who's yes. going to be the guest? Because we, uh, we we asked the chillers in the community. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. Did they respond, Dudu? Yeah. Who they want? Who do they want? Let's hear. Um, so we asked the chillers in, in Bloom who they want to see. Who they want to see, yeah? yeah. yeah. And? So... Because we always need to make sure it's someone from there that it feels like we have. Yeah, yeah we need an artist from there yeah, we and a comedian. Or, or yeah, yeah. Or yeah. Natsuman no, Kai in Blue, you know what I mean? That's why also in KZN we had KZN people. Yes. Yeah, yes. So, so they want to um, be Yeah. Yeah. They asked for some. Asked for Bro, what, what, what's, the, what's the big deal with that interview? Like, uh, that, that, that episode? Like, what? I don't care, man. Like, can everywhere you, I go, people are like, hey. It? Yeah. Everywhere I go, brother, like, hey, that nigga guy. What, what did he do? Nah, he didn't answer questions. He was rude. Yeah. Was he rude? Yeah, yes, rude. he was. I, mean, I couldn't rude. hear half of the things you were saying. you couldn't hear, but he was rude. He a was lot of rude. times. For he, real. He, he was calling you guys idiots half the time. Call me No, but I mean, he, like, he meant, that, that, wasn't that like banter? I think it was banter. It's KZN yeah, banter, fine, actually. but people didn't like it, though. Oh, shit. Yeah, they didn't receive it like that. We were cool with it. Call us or whatever, you know? Yeah, it's whatever. It's fine, yeah. you know what I mean? But the people were like, ah, and he didn't answer the questions because it's like, dude, you want to be on this platform, you know what the platform is about, the truth, yet you you come here, you don't want to answer the questions when you've been asked direct, simple questions. Yeah, I think that... <laughs> what, what did that we miss, Kanye? Because you know you know that guy. She, what did we really miss? She really did get some. Yes, yeah, Kanye. No, I'm just like... it. it, 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 it. <laughs> I think he's just those typical like um, Zulu guys who just have that banter but it's also the thing is it's like he was in his Eminem era <laughs> you know if you want to put it like that <laughs> no it wasn't yeah yeah so he was you know just jabbing and you know being like trying to be playful but obviously saying the worst being crude but trying to be smart but not answering questions yes but I think see, the worst Eminem was also answer questions. Yeah. I think the worst was that he was just not even answering questions. He was just... And there were good questions, Shem. I just, hey, there were good yeah, questions. Yeah. Right? I think mm -hmm. that was the worst part, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. So, 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 Bloom, what did the Chile say? Yeah, so they, say, they said they want some guy. I don't know if it's a duo. Yeah. Someone, Lin Tue. I, I, I looked Google it up. Let's Google them. Let's Google them. Stilo Lin 20, yes. Stilo Lin 20. Stilo 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 Lee 20 Oh yeah, there we go Musical artist Stilo Lee 20 Yeah, it's a duo It's a duo Yeah You want some more official music video Just dropped Yeah They also asked for Ndadestana actually Ndadestana If you check the comments You'll see they asked for Ndadestana so and these then guys, then uh, these guys did a song with Kuli Chana. Yeah, mm. they apparently a big deal. In, in so they will be the the performance wrapping up the show. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then we can interview Dr. Stan. Then of course, we can have so, a chat with I think, Dr. Yeah, he's got a bigger, more national profile. So True. even people in Cape Town, right? Chillers and Zim, Namibia, were like, ah, oh, we know the definitely. songs. We've seen them. Yeah, wanna hear, we want to hear from him. And then there was Makes a sense. wait. Like that is Stan the artist. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, I thought you were talking about the radio guy, the legend. No, Sam wanted Ndate Tuso. Ndate Tuso. Sam wanted Ndate Tuso Mutawo. Yes. Tuso would be fire. Tuso Mutawo. He would be fire. Who is Tuso, man? Tuso Mutawo. He would be so fire. That's the first person I thought of. As well. So they don't want him. They didn't say they want him. They did from radio. They did yeah, suggest they him. From radio, so. Oh, let's get him, man. Yeah, I think he that, would that, be what, what can chill, man. He must. Uh, oh, I was a legend. Oh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is he a legend? Yeah, 
Oh, hey. Und das ist dann. Ach, komm an. Ach, das ist ein Song, ne? Rosemann. Oh, Rosemann. Stimela. Das ist so laut. Come on, man. What are you asking? Oh, I was it making that song? And then... But, yeah, but... Too so slap, actually. Too so. Yeah, but, I like, too so slap. But Stana is also Stana, but... Well, Tuso. okay, let's do a poll. We'll do a poll. Tuso, let's do a poll now. Tuso's, <laughs> let's do a poll. Tuso talk. Have you had your helper uh, on a weekend? Sorry? You, have you had like a, a listen to helper on a yeah, weekend? Yeah. They listen to Ntata Tools. Okay, I'll do a poll, ne? Yeah. And the chillers will decide then. Stana versus... Yo, Stana will lose though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Give the yeah. chillers what they want. Yeah, Stana will lose hands down. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, let's do, yeah, a, let's poll. do a poll. Let's bro. do a poll, man. Cool, so that's Bloom, right? Yeah. And then we are in Limpopo. Who we have in Cape Town? Do we know? Uh, we haven't we haven't started planning for in Cape Limpopo. Town. Do we know? Not yet. Oh, we haven't asked the questions. So yeah. We're only doing to up people. to Cape Town. No more other cities after that. Yeah, we yeah. Oh, okay. I keep asking Kimberley. about Cape Town. You said it's the last leg. Do you have Kimberley? It's the last. It's the last. After other legs. Other legs. Oh. Yes. So it's yeah, it's the last one. Oh, yes. okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, so big shout out to our sponsors, Stripe Tours, Ferro Auto Group, and Easy Bet for riding with us in Bloom and Limpopo. Is it Ferro yeah. or Faro? Faro. Faro. Oh. Faro. Yes, sir. Yeah, and like then um, Faro, yeah? to our US chillers, we're going to be coming out there in June. Uh, the good thing is that uh, merch is now available. So mm. if you're in the US, you're watching this, you want to grab yourself some merch as we get ready to come to you guys in June, mm. just check out the link in the descri uh, description below. And then, Simpio, what's happening with your show, bro? Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Dudu, what's happening with the show? Let's rock. Yeah, I'm asking Dudu, do we have contestants? Yeah, what's going how on? Far how far? How Honestly, far are we? You know what's happening? <laughs> yes. I think we just need to clarify to people who can enter what's happening because I've also been getting a lot of male contestants. Are we discriminating? No, we're not. <laughs> Okay, but we but know what he identifies as. Win, yeah, but they we don't also, stand a chance to win. Guys, let's be realistic. But we can entertain them, maybe. But realistically, we know what he identifies yes. as. Yeah, Let, we need to be wants. fair yeah. to that. Because you're wasting a space of someone who could be with Who them. could be there? Yeah, I was yeah. trying to be inclusive. Nah, fuck that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Well. <laughs> no, for real, because you're wasting someone's yes. space. What if he's soulmate? <laughs> it's between his soulmate and a nigga, and we're being inclusive. We right. put the nigga, but his soulmate will never be a nigga because he's not, he's not that way inclined. And there's yeah. nothing wrong with being that yeah. way inclined, but he's not that way inclined. It's like bringing fucking meat to a buffet of vegetables. You're wasting the fucking meat. <laughs> Bring the meat to us, you know what I mean? Yes. Right? right? Yeah. No, fact, fact, yeah. fact. No, like, fact. Definitely. Yeah. So nah, we just need to just make it clear that uh, if you're a lady... Pure does not one guy. <laughs> no. No, no, no. no. Pure has a right to one guy. Yes. You can't enforce it on him. That's true. Yes. He's so into women. Not one man. He's into women. Yes. So if you're a woman, oh, you're a lady that is interested oh, in dating. All shapes viewers, and kind. They were all inclusive. All shapes and kind. They were inclusive. <laughs> we're inclusive. <laughs> all colors. <laughs> all colors. All shapes. All shapes. All heights. But that's the Bonino one. So all colors. All shapes. I <laughs> welcome. <laughs> No my yeah. And that's his company, no my yeah. no That's his company's name, no ma. No ma. Yeah. And then last but not least, I'm so glad Nali doesn't watch this show. Hey, this, shit, this shit is nice, dog. I told you. I won't tell him about it. I won't tell him about it. This shit is nice. <laughs> I think it might oh, be better really? than the original, eh? It might be better than my one, eh? Slabs. It slabs. Oh, that's that nice. Toffee. I, I told like the you. toffee. Yeah. Toes and a, a flavor. Now I just love tequila. Flavor. So during the week we sorted it out. I took her to the bedroom and showed her who's the boss. <laughs> yeah. Who's in charge. Just to remind her. Don't undermine me. <laughs> <laughs> After the advice you gave to Ziki. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. Yes, so the competition is still running. We're giving away 200k. All you gotta do is buy the new uh, new flavor of uh, Chili's Punch, the Tequila Sunrise. Shoot an ad. We've got 200k to give away every week. We're gonna give starting from next week, right? Oh, okay. Five chillers each. We'll walk away with 10k. Oh, nice. So we're gonna give away three on our show. Spreading okay. Humors is gonna give away two nice. for four weeks. Nice. Uh, so just take a video of you advertising Chili's Punch and tag at Chili's Punch. <laughs> I already saw a video, bro. Yeah. I've got my fighter. What's happening in the video? Uh, There's this guy. His name is Sean underscore the underscore sniper together with Zama.Naomi. They shot an advert. I'll play it after the show. You must check mm. it out. Okay. Fucking amazing, what? bro. 4K. It looks like the real deal, bro. Damn. That's my fighter, that Ooh. one. Damn. Already. Zakal. But it feels like they put so much effort. Why don't you make it like five ads and 
give away like four forty k, or make it like you know. No, nah, bro, we've, money we've, we've, already, we've already announced the competition. You can't change it now. It's true. Cause you're in a good mood. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like. People are shooting in 4K. Where yeah. you make no, 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 you don't have to. I'm then, just saying, these guys went all out. You don't have to, bro. Oh, okay, yeah. They're like, enough. don't you remember? There's a guy, it's so cool. Uh, the guy who did one way, when it opens, it's, you can hear us talking like, in that, yeah. and then it closes. closes it. It. I haven't yeah. seen that one. Was that you? <laughs> ah, they jacked your idea. Oh. They jacked his idea. You saw it, Nefe <laughs> Checker. Yeah. There's another guy who did that. Okay. It's pretty well, cool. Yeah, it can be simple, right? It can be simple, man. Right, you can cool. do whatever you want. I don't like the. Yeah, it can be. Okay, let's go on. <laughs> Yes, Fed Checker. Just to correct you, actually, Salva's right. On the social medias, we have five winners that are getting 50K and not 10K. Because I'm in a good mood. Yes. And then, yeah. yeah. And then on top of that, please mention where they should tag. Because. Wait, having... man. Well, this I'm in a good thing? mood. Now, what are you sorry, saying? I'm bro? right. I'm Who's in a good giving mood? away the 50K? So... You said because I'm in a good mood. No, no. I'm trying okay. to stay him to the fucking okay. right okay. thing to say. <laughs> you say I'm in a good mood. I'm like, I give up. <laughs> Let him do his thing. I give up. Because I say I'm in a good mood. I'm like. What are you talking let me, about? Let me explain. Let me okay. cook. Okay. So on social media, the post has already been out that we are picking five winners and those five winners are going to be getting 50K. So if you say it's 10K, it means that we're getting... But who said who said 50? Who, 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 who approved that? It's on who social good media. It's on... <laughs> oh, who approved good that? Mood. Mood. Yeah, it who put on... The chill, it was on the Chillers Punch social uh, media. I now, I don't know that, man. <laughs> Now one man. Ah, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. What's your way, boy? Some seven is the hot hour. Is that? No, no, no. We will check it on Instagram and then please make sure that you tag. Yo, my ass. I'm coming. Chillers punch. Chillers punch has over one hundred and fifty k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
Oh, four times. Ah. <laughs> so, so let me explain all the times. In Hillbrook, in Hillbro once, but it was from afar. So, and it trended on Twitter even in Hillbrook. I found out on Twitter. No, actually, people were talking about it. So there's a guy on the roof of one of the buildings. They normally like hang clothes, right? And over some dumb shit, apparently. So apparently he won, like, there's a, a betting thing. That thing's big, you know, like in Ekasi, even in Hillbro. And the guy had won a ticket, apparently, and told everybody. And then one of his friends or people he thought he his friends came through, killed him. Then went to go hang the body on the, at the... Um, Washing rail, you know the poles, mm. how they are? They were T-shaped. They hanged him there, you know? So you could see him from like far, cause it's at the, there's one of the tallest buildings, man. Oh, I forgot the building's name now. Yeah, and then the first party I ever saw, I was a kid. So my house in Forslow was by a corner, a curb, not a curb even, right? And I think the guy was chased and hacked with like I'm not so mm. so in the morning you have walking this PT and I need oh there's a body I'm like damn damn first time ever another time guy was shot roots drive force low in my hood and I said the CC not he didn't go to the city or anything just that's the area it's called and I said the CC because there's a church there you know it ne? Yeah. yeah 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 dead another one I was coming back primary school coming back from school um, I think the guy had committed suicide. So he jumped into, I wanna, most of the time, I said, you on the freeway, N3. Most of the time, it was a force. Yeah, I think he jumped into traffic. Yo. And the car, like, bah, oh, yeah. So it was like the bus here, and then just like things, pink things, and hey, couldn't man. even see the head. It was hey, just so a This is mesh dark, up. man. This is dark. Dude. Yeah, yeah. So. This is dark. So, yeah, so, no, 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 I didn't. Come on, it made me who I am. You should be grateful I didn't go to therapy. <laughs> but, like, for, but now, you can imagine, I was a kid then. As a kid, I think you you recover from things better, you know what I mean? Like, as you, it's like, as you grow, you so recover. So, would you be able to work in a morgue? In a morgue? You, you, do you feel like you can handle? In, in Moshari? Yeah. Ah, no, I wouldn't. I'm, like, just I, I don't do... like, nah. I wouldn't. Mm. Nah, I wouldn't. I, nah. Nah, I wouldn't, bro. What did bodies and not too bambi. Nah, I wouldn't, you know? Mm. So, like, you can imagine now kids seeing that thing. Like, you're going to kill yourself. Why would you kill yourself in a fucking school with kids? Hang yourself. You have a home. There's the how train. Dude, like, there's so many places. It's a public, hi, <laughs> boy. No, but... You can go <laughs> inside, inside. Ooh, I don't see I'm a Latin, this my corner. <laughs> go inside, like always talk. There's the train coming. Run. Gana. You know what I mean? Like, not like when there's kids, bro. And people shouldn't kill themselves, but if you will, no, well, there's kids. That's like fucked up. Like, imagine the kid who saw it. And then maybe like 30, 40 saw it till the teachers came and said, go, oh, you're not allowed here. And I think for me, it's not even just seeing it, but being told that someone had hung themselves at a space that we hang out in. You know, really, this just makes you crazy. hang out also there. <laughs> <laughs> he hangs there, you hang there. <laughs> and <Fuck. son. laughs> hey, I'm getting suicidal these days, man. Sorry. It's a public holiday, guys. It's a public holiday. <laughs> it's a public holiday. Yeah. No, I thought because you went to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You nah, nah. You I don't know anyone that like, I would know. You know, like, you know things. Mm. Sometimes you may move out of spaces, but you'll hear no, things. No, no, zero. Because you're like, yo, dog, you heard in the group, in your boys' group. You heard, yeah. Oh, apparently that nigga had did. Or that nigga, mm. you know, had done something and now he was meant to be accountable or something. So I thought maybe you knew the background story. Ghost lady, give us something nice to yes to wrap up, note, please. Yeah, we can't end. So I fucked up the whole thing. Now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, there's a story that touched me. Okay, this oh, is a bit sad. Sad. <laughs> sad. Give us something <laughs> nice. I'm like no, but guys, so not a student shooting it's the principal. It's a public principal. holiday. Do you know what day it is? It's Human rights. Holiday. Yes, oh. yes. Human rights. Yes. yes. What are we celebrating? Human rights. Uh, why? 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 What's the history? Oh, what happened? Oh, <laughs> it's a public holiday. Oh, wow. Okay, school. Oh, so what, what are we celebrating? Uh, 
And on that note, we are here, man. <laughs> Podcast and chill, bro. Not educate you. <laughs>